Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students and viewers. I am Sir Zafar and you are watching Z Tutors channel. The topic of the day is supply versus stock. What is the difference between supply and stock? Dear students, what is stock? Suppose for this uh, term we have to take an example. For example, I am a shopkeeper and I sell mobiles and there are 100 mobiles in, uh, in my shop and at the specific price I would like to sell all these mobiles. If the prices of these mobiles are getting lower I will not sell and if the prices are going to up I will like to sell all these mobiles. For example, in these 100 mobiles, I think I have purchased each mobile for 10,000 rupees. So, I have purchased each mobile at the cost of, at the price of 10,000 rupees. And if the price in the market is more than 10,000 rupees, suppose the market price, the current market price is 5000 per head. I would like to sell this mobile because 5000 rupees will be my profit here. But if the price is, is less than this cost price, then this my purchasing price, I will not sell this mobile. So the price of uh, the mobile in the market today is 8000 rupees while I have purchased this mobile at 10 and at 10,000. Would you like? Would I like? Should I like to sell this mobile at this price? No. And at this price? Yes. And at this price, I will think over it. Maybe I am in need of money today. So I may sell this mobile at this price. But I will not like to sell all these mobiles at this lowest price or at this lowest price. But I will like to sell all these uh, mobiles at this price. So when the prices are lower, I will not like to sell. But if the prices are going to high, I will like to sell all these mobiles. So what is supply? Supply is the quantity of the good. Supply is the quantity of the goods which I am going to sell at the specific price at the specific time. I will take care of time. I will take care of price for that good to be supplied to be sold. And what is the difference between this term and this term? I have already told you that I have 100 mobiles in my shop and the price of a mobile is 15,000. I would like to sell all these mobiles. So these mobiles I am going to sell are known as a supply and total mobile I have hand, I have in my hand is known as stock. So here my stock is 100 mobiles and my supply is also 100 mobiles. Suppose the price of the mobile decreases and reaches at 10,000 rupees. I would not like to suppose uh, 1100 rupees. Only 100 rupee, 1000 rupees is my profit here. If the price is decreasingly reaches at 11,000 rupees, I would like to sell a few mobiles of them. Suppose only five mobiles are there, I am going to sell. Now my stock is 1,100 mobiles, but my supply is only five mobiles. So we may say that stock is the part of supply that may be equal to supply or that may be less than supply but stock the quantity of stock can never exceed the quantity of supply it may be equal to this 
or it may be less than this but cannot be exit so when i have 100 mobiles this is my stock the quantity of that 100 mobile i am going to sell i am going to sell is known as supply suppose i would like to sell only 10 mobile then these 10 mobiles are my supply and 100 is my stock if i would like to sell 20 mobiles 20 is my supply and 100 is my stock students sometimes we make a mistake my supply is 10 10 mobiles and i have 100 mobiles in my hand sometimes students uh, will minus 8 and will say that there are 90 mobiles in my stock and 10 mobiles is my supply no this is not the right uh, answer this is not the right way to consider this uh, the stock is the total value i have in my hand and of this value and of this value what is the value what is the quantity i will like to sell is known as a supply we will not minus supply from stock stock is the total amount and which amount i am going to show is so 10 mobiles is my supply and overall 100 mobile is my stock and when i have sold these 10 mobiles now 90 mobiles are left in my shop now the stock is 90 and in these 90s what is the quantity i am going to sell suppose 20 mobiles is there i am going to sell so the stock is 90 and sale is 20 though dear students this was the difference between stock and supply uh, inshallah kalala aziz in next video we will discuss law of supply as we have already discussed law of demand law of supply and law of demand are absolutely opposite form of each other inshallah kalala aziz will see next video stay with us for the next one uh, but uh, before going please subscribe our channel and please press the icon bell so that our new uh, videos and lectures will reach at your door thank you very much take care allah hafiz